Hey everyone, my previous video on the NFL owners meeting in Dallas, I made a comment toward the end and I got a phone call actually from a Raiders fan and I stopped and we talked for a long time that there was a communications problem between the National Football League and the city of Oakland. And basically it goes like this. Regular followers of my blog will remember that I reported last September of 2015 that the National Football League was interested in buying Coliseum land. I'm not going to say who I got that from. Was it, it, it was and is a very good source who is in a position not only to know but to be involved in the talks that would have ostensibly led to that kind of action. Then, for some reason, it went off the table. From that point on to basically last week, the consistent refrain I received from Oakland Mary Libby Schaff was that she was taking her direction from the National Football League. She even put out a statement that she was working aggressively to keep the Oakland Raiders in Oakland and that she had received from NFL Commissioner Ronnie, uh, excuse me, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell the go-ahead to work with the lock group, the blessing to work with the lock group. It was said prior to that that Libby was avoiding the lock group and there was concerns about whether or not it was for racial reasons, which had nothing to do with it, but I'm being completely honest about what was happening then and how we got from there to here, okay? Now, throughout the period and particularly after the exclusive negotiating agreement was struck and released August 16th of this year, 2016, the NFL continued to work with the, with the city of Oakland and most directly the mayor of Oakland. And if you remember this, okay, let's move forward in time a bit this year. Remember the Charlotte NFL owners meeting, the spring league meeting, where I accused Oakland Raiders owner Mark Davis of going behind the back of the city of Oakland and working with Las Vegas and not basically telling the city of Oakland that it was the Raiders were basically going to revisit the lease agreement issue sometime in April and they were going to have their new stadium person come on around. Well, they, they already hired him, but they weren't sure when he was going to start. They were really vague on the start date. But the bottom line is they told no one about at all about Las Vegas. Remember that? Remember that? And remember me asking Mr. Davis at the April 27th lease announcement if he was going to commit the Raiders to Oakland and he never directly answered the question. Remember that? And then remember in May at the NFL owners meeting in Charlotte, I accused Davis, who was not there, but... I did so through NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell of going behind the back of the city of Oakland and violating the National Football League's own relocation policy in the process. And I asked Commissioner Goodell if Davis was going off the range and if, essentially if he was, he being Goodell, was supportive of Davis' actions. Goodell said that, and this is on my video here at Zenny62 on YouTube, that it was partly the Raiders' fault they did not have a stadium in Oakland. He said that. Remember that? I also explained that I had talked to it, Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff prior to the meeting, and she told me that she was not aware of Davis' forays into Vegas. Commissioner Goodell then said, again, this is on video, that he talked to Mayor Schaff as well at 10 o'clock the night before the meeting. Point I'm making is that Roger Goodell has been in constant contact with Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff. Constant. Constant. So now here we are on this week where we're going into December 15th. The NFL owners meeting was on the 14th. And on the 12th of this week, we have the news that the city of, well, not so much the city of Oakland, but the Lock Group and the Raiders and Fortress met, along with uh, of with Eric Gridman, the National Football League's Senior Vice President for Business Affairs. And so then Gridman comes out and says that basically 
they have a plan that's a lot like the get part plan okay and that there wasn't and there was a framework to a, a, a plan but it wasn't a tr from his perspective a true plan i disagree with that it, it needs some details yes it needs a pro forma spreadsheet yes but when you say framework that's a plan i'm sorry folks a lot of people are fooling around with terms a plan is a plan if you have a plan to build something and you're marshalling resources and you have a sheet that says who's going to do what that's a fucking plan all right it may not be the kind of plan you want but don't say it's not a plan it's a plan period end of story it's a plan now you can say it's an incomplete plan fine but it's a plan so I'm going off on this little diatribe just to say, knock this crap off, please. All right, now back to my main point. Then Grubman sends me an email and says that what he meant by his blast was that there was no proposal to the Oakland Raiders. My question to Eric is why didn't he tell the mayor? I'm thinking the mayor. Or someone involved. He said in two words, I did. Now, what is ironic to me is that when I approached Oakland Mayor Libby Chef about this, there's one thing I can say. I can't talk about the rest. But I can tell you that Libby said that if the NFL were interested in buying the land, they should have made it clear. Now, my retort was, hey, look, you should have offered them the chance to do it. That didn't happen. That did not happen. So somewhere between Libby and Eric is the existence of a muddled truth. I don't want to say that either one isn't telling something. That would be wrong. But there's an old saying that the truth is somewhere in the middle, right? And it, and two sides have their version of the truth. So, but what I find disturbing, taking a bird's eye view of this, is that we're simply, we've gotten here. That this is where we are. That's very disturbing. That's extremely disturbing. There's an undercurrent problem here that I'll go into more detail about in a follow-up video but it's worth going into because these problems of terminology, communication, and directness need to be solved. And the only way to do that is to smash these bubbles of information that aren't getting out with honesty, okay? With an honest assessment of what is happening here. And I'll do that in the next video. Stay tuned.